Thank you. I want to extend my sincere congratulations to all the graduates today and their families. This is a great day for all of you. You can now proudly say that you are an alumnus or alumna of Benedictine College and follow in the footsteps of graduates of Benedictine who came before you, including graduates of our founding institutions, Mount St. Scholastica College and St. Benedict's College. And you can now officially call me P. Minnie. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge a few people who are here with us today. I welcome those on the stage, Wisconsin Congressman and House Budget Committee Chairman Paul Ryan. <laughs> sister Linda Herndon, Associate Dean and Registrar. Jack, oh, you can clap for sister. <laughs> Not that they're less important, but we can hold our applause until I introduce everybody else. Jack Newman, the chairman of the board of directors. Abbot James Albers of St. Benedict's Abbey. Sister Ann Shepherd, the prioress of Mount St. Scholastica Monastery. And Dr. Kimberly Shankman, the dean of the college. I would also like to take just a moment to note that the dean left a little something out when she introduced the faculty today and that was recognition of the Distinguished Educator of the Year. That was because the students, faculty, and staff of this college made her this year's recipient of that great honor. Let's hear it for the 2013 Distinguished Educator of the Year, Dr. Kimberly Shank. We also with, have with us many of the board of directors of the college, and if you could stand when I call your name. Abbott James Albers, Dr. Jerry Brungart, whose, whose daughter Virginia is graduating today, congratulations. Larry Busing, Patrick Carr, all the way from Toronto, Canada. Thank you, Patrick, for being here. Joan Charbonneau, Shirley Chenoweth, Father Jeremy Hepler, Dave Laughlin, Steve McBride, Mike Murphy, whose daughter Erin is graduating today. Murph. Murph. Uh, Jack Newman, Kathy O'Hara, Sister Ann Shepherd and Susan Zubrod, whose niece Danielle Rush is graduating. Let's thank them for being here today. Thank you, Board of Directors. Also, Jerry Henry, class of 1981, the Kansas State representative from Atchison, and the former chair of the board, Jim O'Brien, is here. Jim, uh, where is Jim? Is he there? He is, Jim O'Brien. Thank you, Jim. I'm honored to be participating in my ninth commencement here at Benedictine College. Doesn't it seem like just yesterday we were moving you into your dorm, you were calling three times after receiving your beanie, and you were saying, now wait a minute, you want me to get up early on a Saturday morning and push this bed across along the streets of Atchison for pride? Um, those who came in as freshmen four years ago, you should look back over your time here at Benedictine College with great satisfaction and pride. Your four years here have been a special time. Since you moved in, we dedicated Mary's Grotto in the September of your freshman year. You were just the fifth class to live in St. Scholastica Hall. You were one of the first classes to study abroad in Florence and among the first to live in the Legacy Apartments. While you were students here, the row houses were built. Turf was put on the football field. Lights and turf on the soccer field. And now the John Casey Soccer Center is built. The college acquired the hospital property the Mother Teresa Nursing Center was built and dedicated on her 100th birthday. Cray Seberg Hall was renovated and opened. We opened Benedetto's your senior year. The Raven Walk was renovated and made more beautiful. The St. Benedict statue was dedicated. And we opened our ninth new residence hall since 2000, St. Michael Hall. Many of you helped at four of the most successful scholarship balls in our history. During your time here, we finished the Investing in Excellence campaign in which our goal was to raise $50 million, and instead we raised $70 million, accepting four of the largest one-time gifts in our history. And during your junior year, we opened the Farrell Academic Center, a testament to our dedication to academic excellence. Your class was one of the first to be able to major in international business, in finance, foreign language, and criminology, and we began two incredibly dynamic programs while you were here, nursing and engineering. Your class had one of the very first Fulbright Award winners in the college's history. 
And this past year saw many of you be a part of the over 800 students go on 34 mission trips to places around the world to serve others, and you were also part of the record-setting seven buses traveling to the March for Life this past January. Your class continued long-standing traditions like wearing beanies, the bed races, dorm wars, Toga Tuesday, and the 100-day march. You didn't know I knew about Toga Tuesday, did you? <laughs> now you got a lot of explaining to do, parents, don't you? I bragged to Congressman Ryan about how our freshmen are a little leery about wearing the beanie the first week of school, but that the loudest complainers usually have them on for graduation. So those who got your beanie on, stand up and show Congressman Ryan your beanies. Isn't that awesome? Through this all, you supported and you prayed for the college. Many of you here joined the dean on me on Wednesday mornings for the rosary for the college. And many of you hit your knees after student masses and said the memorary prayer for the college. And I thank you for that. And it worked, because during your time here, our, enroll our enrollment increased from 1,400 students to 1,700 students in four years. But there's another reason why I love this class so much. And it's not because it gave me the perfect daughter-in-law, but that's pretty awesome. No, th no, this is something you probably don't know, but you were a memorary, uh, memorary class for the college. Let me tell you why. You know the story of how Mother Teresa wanted to purchase a new building for a growing community, and the building was to cost $85,000, but she had no money. So she told her sisters to start praying 85,000 memoraries for help. And as the story goes, when the 85th thousandth memorari was being said, a man walked in off the street with a check for $85,000. Because of that story, the college adopted the memorari prayer, and we've created memorari armies to help us build the grotto, to help us build Farrell Academic Center. We have did it for religious liberty in this country, and today there are over 3.2 million memoraries being prayed in the, around the world today for religious liberty in America. So in the fall of 2008, your senior year, the country witnessed the biggest financial crisis since, crisis since the Great Depression. Doomsday predictors said no one would attend private universities the next fall because of the crisis, and we were pretty worried. In the fall of 2008, we enrolled 1,300 students, and we couldn't go backwards because, you know, we always got to go forward, always forward, everywhere. That's right. So, so I asked members of the college to begin praying memorares to preserve our enrollment. I asked about 50 people to pray 1,400 memoraries apiece for enrollment increases. And we were praying for a strong freshman class to support those enrollment increases. Enrollment increases against all the odds, some said. But Mary wasn't listening to them. She was listening to us. In the fall of 2009, your class enrolled the largest freshman class in the history of the college at that time, and our enrollment did indeed exceed a record 1,400 students. So it was the Memorial Army that brought your class here to think you are sitting in those chairs right now because of the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And isn't that amazing? So congratulations, Memorial class. So you can see why I love this class so much, and Mary does too. Soon your names will be read and you will walk across the stage. You'll join a long line of distinguished alumni of the college. You'll be a part of a rich tradition, just like Joseph O'Donohue, William O'Neill, Thomas Haynes, Joseph Watron, and William Kelly, the first students of your alma mater back in 1858. On behalf of our faculty, staff, and administration, I congratulate you on your accomplishments, and you'll leave us today, and we'll miss you. But we don't you want you to ever forget, once a raven, many people tell you congratulations today, but I want to tell you thank you for your part in making this place special. And remember to always live your life by moving forward, always, forward. everywhere forward. I get a little enthusiasm. Come on, guys, really. <laughs> Let's pray St. Benedict's favorite prayer. Glory be to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be.
world without end. St. Benedict and St. Scholastica, pray for us. God bless you. God bless the class of 2013. Thank you.